makes you different from the person sat next to you. Perhaps it's your gender, your height, even your hair colour. Well, all of these things are at least in part controlled by our genetics. But what is our genetic information? Well, I'll demonstrate this to you using a cheek swab. Now, using this swab, I can go inside my cheek, rub it very gently, and now there will be thousands of cells on the end of this swab. And each of them contains my unique, personal, and confidential genetic information. Now, I can't see any cells on that swab, so I'm sure you can't either. And this is where I want to introduce to you my super cell. So our cheek cells uh, that are on this swab are microscopic. And this cell is a million times magnified. So it's a million times bigger. And the bit I want you to focus on is this black blob, the nucleus, because that's where our genetic information is stored. Now, in these microscopic cells, there's about two meters of genetic information. So this cell is a million times bigger. So that's two million meters of DNA that I'm going to have to pull out to demonstrate this to you. But I'm not going to do that because our cells are microscopically small. But importantly for us, our genetic information also confers our susceptibility to particular genetic diseases, whether that's Alzheimer's disease, cancer, or Huntington's disease, for example. Now, my genetic susceptibility is stored on this swab. My chances of getting certain types of cancer or brain diseases, the information about those is all on this swab, right here, right now. And one day, your genetic information could be on a similar swab. So the question I've got for you is, would you want to know about it? Would you want to know about your risk of developing cancer, Alzheimer's disease, or Huntington's disease? Because for some of these diseases, there aren't any cures. We can do things to prevent them, but we can't cure them. Our knowledge of genetics is advancing at ever-increasing speed. So I'll leave by asking you, would you want to know about your individual genetic status? Thank you. Okay, thank you.